evening crafters welcome back to my channel margaret knob designs tonight i have got a project for you that i wanted to show you and how to put it together and i'm calling this my uh, card box book and the reason why is because of how it um, goes together it opens pretty much like a book and has a closure on it here this is um, a design team project for country craft creations it is using the Christmas cheer uh, paper collection that is exclusive to Country Craft Creations. And um, what I'm going to do is um, show you how I put uh, the collection on this um, card box. And then uh, what I'll do is show you how I filled it, what I did, and we'll talk a little further about that and put uh, a box together and you know you can use any of your collections that you have but this Christmas cheer works really well for this uh, because there's a lot of papers in the collection I also used it to coordinate uh, the cards that I had with it as well so let's get into it and I'll show you what it looks like so I used one of the cut aparts uh, for my closure and I did use I did not cover the inside because I wanted this to be a little bit stronger Next time when I do this, I probably will put a piece of Velcro in here. I just did this this time with the magnet. So you can cover the inside or you can go without covering it. It, it really doesn't matter. So we take that off and um, we're going to open our card box like this with the lid. And then this opens like that. And we've got a uh, like a box lid on top of there. Now you can you can put an envelope on the inside of here. The reason why I did not is because I liked this paper and I wanted it to be a continuance from the front of this book. And but you can put an envelope in here with other items. The other item that I put in here is I put a small pocket right here. And the reason for that small pocket is, is so that um, I could put a book of stamps in there or a few stamps for uh, the receiver of this as a gift. Putting this book box together, card box, sorry, um, together, uh, it really goes together very, very quickly. And so it makes for a great gift for a family member. Plus the other thing is, is that once you have the card stock on the or the designer paper on the outside and inside of the box it really really strengthens it quite a bit doesn't mean you have to cover everything quite honestly just covering uh, the outside of this like this is is plenty you don't have to cover all the all the sides around and on the back and everything I got this a little bit fat right now only because I embellished one of my cards a little bit too much, but it still works and my band still goes around it, but it makes it for a nice sturdy box. So let me take my cards out of here. And what I did then is I then took the uh, patterned collection and I put it you know, just made sure that it was one eighth of an inch away. So if something was one inch, I made it seven eighths of an inch. And the only other thing that I really changed about this so much is I rounded the corners right here. I didn't, I have it open in here. I don't have it as a stop. Um, this actually could even fit larger cards than what I did. Not a lot larger, but um, this, um, this is five inches across, so um, you could, you know, do a five by five card right in here as well, and you'd have enough room for the envelopes as well. So, like I said, I have this little pocket here, and then I just punched out um, that so that you could get your stamps out of there quite easily. And then I wanted to just show you these are the cards that I made for this uh, for this gift and what I did is I put in here some Christmas cards but I also put uh, some thank you cards because I thought it would be nice for um, after Christmas for sending out thank yous for the gifts so um, basically um, just did a small design on the inside 
but a uh, heat emboss, I made a little mistake there, or it's the heat embossing didn't go together right, but I decided I was going to use it anyways. And then just use some cute embellishments. And putting these cards together, what I did is, is I tried to do them kind of in a, a one sheet wonder kind of format. And so I will uh, do a video coming out soon with how I put these cards together, just the base of the card at least, and showing you some of the decorating. But I just put some, some of the pattern paper inside and heat embossed a thank you on here. And just, um, they're very simple, but um, I think they work well with the box. And um, even using the different sentiments, wishing you joy, thank you for your kindness, um, thank you, Merry Christmas, and um, another Merry Christmas over here, and thank you for your kindness, have a holly jolly Christmas. So just putting, you know all kinds of different um, sentiments together so that they have a mixture of cards. Uh, because I was using a Christmas collection, I didn't want to um, I didn't want to put any happy birthday or anything in there. But you know what? If you have Christmas birthdays in your family, it might not be a bad idea. It might work for you. And then what this gift card or gift set is is it's eight cards with eight envelopes in here. and um, I probably would take some of the embellishments off of that so that it isn't quite so fat, but it then comes together like that. And again, very, very easy uh, to put together. And this just moves up and down. For that fact, if you are comfortable with the, um, the band going around, um, you can also uh, just even do it so that it's wrapped permanently and it slides on and off. Whatever your choice makes it very easy. So let me show you how I put together the box and what you're going to need for making the box. It's very easy. I use the black artisan cardstock and the first piece I have is a 12 by 12 black artisan and what I did for the scoring on it. On one side, oops, let me start this way. So on the Black Artisan cardstock, what I did is, is first of all, I scored, oops, I scored at a half of an inch down here. Then I went over to five and a half inches, then to six and a half inches and then to 11 and a half. So again, on this side of the cardstock, or this side of the 12 by 12, it's scored at a half an inch, five and a half, six and a half, and 11 and a half. And then you're going to turn this, and you are going to score at eight inches and eight and a half. And that's all you're going to score on that side. So that side is eight inches and eight and a half. And then you are going to cut another piece of the black cardstock. And the black cardstock is going to be cut at, this one is going to be cut at seven and one eighth by seven and a half. And then what you're going to do is you are going to put on here the seven and a half at the top. And you're going to score this at a half of an inch and then score this at an inch and a half. So again, on the seven and a half inch side, you're going to score at a half of an inch and then an inch and a half. And then I'm going to turn it so that I have the seven and one eighth of an inch at the top. And I'm going to score this at one inch and then I'm going to turn it and score it at one inch. And the reason why you're going to have to turn it is because I'm trying to make this middle piece one eighth of an inch bigger than the bottom so that the cover that goes over the top of it. So then what we're going to do is you can, you can um, 
get your um, papers covered or your papers out and cut for what you're going to need and you can actually cover your um, the base of this uh, before you actually put a lot of it together so like you could you could um, put your your cardstock along here you could also put your cardstock along here and then put the rest of this together um, I'm not, I didn't cut cardstock for that because I want to just show you how to put this together. So we've got the sides folded in, the one inch sides, but then I'm going to come along here and what I'm going to do is, you can't see that so well, but there is a half of an inch cut there. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to cut up that half inch because I want to cut it off. Then I'm going to miter this piece right here because this is going to be a flap. Then I'm going to come to the other side and I'm cutting to the right hand side of that score just slightly so that I can cut some of that off to remove any of the bulk from the scoring. And then I am taking that, that off as well. And then I'm going to come back here. I'm going to score that really well. Should have done this right away on this, sorry. All right, and then we have the inch and a half on the top of our box. Score that really well. And then what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut just on the right side of that score line. Cut this on the right side of the score line. Because what's going to happen then, in order for us to make the top of the box, is we are going to glue these in to the inside of our box. So let me just, I want to fix one little piece up here. So the other thing that I'm going to do is just slightly miter along this these tabs just to make sure that none of them are hanging off this our side at all all right and then I'm going to leave that put that to the side and I'm going to come into here and let's get this one put together. Now, basically when we put this together, not sure if you can see it, there's the center of our score right here. That's actually going to be um, the, the side of our box. It's actually going to fold like this. So um, what you can do is you can cover these ahead of time and um, possibly once you've got this all cut and folded on this part as well. Once you've made one of these um, it's pretty easy to put it together and be able to put your pattern paper on there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, fold on our score lines. And I'm folding up on the bottom of this book base because um, this bottom part is going to come up and be our pockets. Maybe I should have folded that first. <laughs> So if you have last minute things that you want to give as gifts or think about it in terms of maybe you have some cards that you have in your stash that you are 
looking towards getting, you know, I don't want to say getting rid of, but, you know, donating or sharing, you know, to friends because you've made them all year. Um, this is a nice little box to make where you can present your, um, you can present your cards to your friends and family and um, they look really, really nice. So, and again, making this box, um, kind of a book style box, it does not take very long at all. And like I said, you can, you can do this so that you cover everything, or you can just cover just the main parts of the book box and um, leave the inside uh, just the cardstock. So you can put designer paper on the front, but leave the inside uh, cardstock as it is. So as you can see, I'm going along and I'm folding and scoring everything. as we go along. So basically what's going to end up happening is, is that we're going to have an inch centerpiece and our, the width of our box on one side and the other is going to be a half of an inch each. So One of the things that we're going to do before we do anything else is we're going to come in here and this is our uh, pocket score line. We're going to come in here and we are going to cut away um, this center piece here. Just the big long piece and not the smaller part of the box. And again, I'm trying to cut these to the inside, basically trying to cut away uh, the score mark. You know what? I need to check something. I think I did that wrong. What I did wrong is I have to go all the way up, This even this half-inch piece. So you're going to cut out that longer piece by the pocket, and this half inch um, piece in between. What I'm going to do to help me make it as straight as I can is I'm folding those two inside pieces up and then I'm coming in here Cut that. There we go. And it's not perfect, but it's as perfect as it can be. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to cut these little flaps in here over on this side and on this side. And what that's what that is going to I left I left mine on because of the sturdiness for the box. So this is how I'm going to um, if I can show that to you how I'm going to put the sides together. And I did leave this little flap in here. But you can cut that off, but I just thought it gave a, a cleaner look on the side there. But what I am going to do is to do some very slight mitering on this side. Hopefully you can see that. I wonder if I can get this. Hopefully that bright, brightness. So this is what it's going to look like on the side. And we're going to do that on this side as well. 
hopefully that light helps a little bit, not makes it worse. So that, and that. Okay. So then the next thing that I'm going to do before I put this all together, I'm going to take my round punch and I'm using the medium setting on it or the medium punch and I'm rounding that corner and I'm going to round this corner as well so then I've got that done and I won't forget so then what I am going to do is I will be putting this together the base the pockets on this side to go onto this side now I am going to put this so that my on top of this and the reason for that is because this will be then covered up with um, with our pattern paper if you don't want to do that you can do this completely straight all the way down um, I just prefer to do it this way because it's going to be covered anyways and I felt like it would be a little bit more solid um, putting it together that way and that's just my opinion <laughs> so I'm going to um, I put some glue on this flap I put some glue on this side of the flap and I'm going to put that all in together and trying to make my corner square see how my corners are square here and then I'm going to come back in with my bone folder and just make sure everything is flat in there and then you've got this side along here because we want to have that so that it closes and you can take a piece of your pattern paper that is um, it'll be three eighths of an inch by I think it's seven and seven eighths. Where's my ruler? Yep, so it would be three eighths by seven and seven eighths. And again, you don't have to cover all of these things, but I like to cover them because I feel like it makes it just a little bit sturdier. So I'm going to do this side, and I'm going to do the inside of this one because again we're putting that to the outside of the longer piece and I'm just squaring that up and squaring it off so that it looks nice and even and square I guess is the word take my bone folder and then we've got our box put together now it doesn't go completely together right in here because of how it um, pulls together and that's why when we put this box lid on that then covers over the sides so when we put this on I'm going to put this part of this together so let's put um, no, you know what? I'm going to do something else first. Sorry. I tried, when I did this or when I made it, I tried to put this together so that it was inside. But the but because I made this an eighth of an inch bigger, it has to go to the outside of our, our um, card box. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put this to the outside of my box because I'm covering it with with designer paper but I want to make sure that I am like a sixteenth of an inch away from my fold and I want to make sure that I am even on both sides over here this is going to be a sixteenth of an inch bigger um, yeah, sixteenth of an inch bigger on this side and on this side so we just need to put that in place 
and this thoroughly gets covered by your designer paper, this flap on the back. But in order for it to sit well outside of um, the box so it could flap better, I put it to the outside of the box. Doesn't need a huge range of motion, but it just needs to have some range of motion so that it doesn't get ripped off the top of the box. And the reason why I didn't want to close this up is because I could um, see how tight this is going to be and um, so I can close it up once I have um, seen that this is fitting over quite well. That's the reason why I did not want to close it up. So what I'm going to do is take and put glue on my edge of my cover and I'm going to line this all up, make sure I'm nice and even on here. Then we're going to do this other side. And you know, this is this is the way that I put this together. There might be other designs out there or other ideas that might put it together um, a little bit differently than what I've done here, but um, this is what I thought worked pretty well for my cards and my box. Okay. And there we go. We have our top of our lid coming down like that. We can put a nice focal point on the top of our box. Our sides are covered all the way around. And again, these will come in a little bit more uh, once you put your patterned paper or designer paper on that. But that comes around like that. And then when I took this... Um, piece of the, my piece that to wrap around here, this was about 15 inches, so I, I attached two pieces together, um, but basically I just wrapped it around to see how far it went and then kind of backed it up. And this is two inches, so I would recommend to make this um, two inches or an inch and a half depending upon how wide you want it on your box, depending upon the designer paper that you have on there as well. So that's how easy it is to put this box together. Makes a really nice um, little card box or gift box. Um, and I think that um, it's it's simple enough that it you wouldn't be disappointed when somebody would take and toss it after they're done using all the cards. So... I think it's I think it turned out pretty well. Let me know if you have any questions in the box below if there's anything I can answer for you. Um, and again, this is just a matter of uh, measuring out what you've got and then uh, I did it reducing it by 1 eighth. So the top of this box is five and one eighth. So you're going to cut your pattern paper for this piece at uh, five inches by um, seven, nope, by five and seven eighths. But remember one thing, this is five inches. This box is five inches. We made this top piece one eighth inch bigger. So your pieces for here are going to be seven and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. Just take a quick measure. Once you've done, like I said, once you've put it together one time, it'll be so simple and so easy to put together. So thank you so much for watching. I will be having some other videos coming up here shortly. 
um, got a design team haul and then I've got another project I want to get up before Christmas and then I have also um, a graphic 45 uh, the winter collection and what I'm going to be doing with that is I'm going to be making a December daily or December weekly out of that uh, collection and I'm going to save it for um, well I'm going to save it for 2022 and um, but if you want one for this year you can follow along with that as well and put your uh, Christmas photos in this year so the other thing just to remember is Tamara does um, a December daily and she sells kits for the December daily every year and um, then she put, goes oh sorry <laughs> I mean, I had nothing to drink tonight. <laughs> she will do a kit, and then she will do a tutorial for it in uh, January, February time frame. So that'll be another option of a different, um, a different December daily. So you're gonna have lots of options coming up, and don't forget our New Year's Eve hop. Um, and those that are going to the retreat, we'll see you in that as well. So thanks so much. Have a Merry Christmas if I don't see you again. But I will have a couple more videos coming up. Thanks so much and have a great night.